Welcome to the Bunny's Lair. Today is going to be the first part of a small series done on tools used to build AR-15 rifles. Today's selection are barrel nut wrenches. Here you'll see a wide variety of armorer's wrenches all the way to torque wrench specification wrenches for uh, these are mill spec barrel nut wrench uh, adapters for just putting on the end of torque wrenches these are some proprietary uh, wrenches for various different um, barrel nuts for hand guards and you've got your crow's feet for, you know, certain types of hand guards as well. Over here you have your Magpul um, armor's wrench. Here you have a Smith wrench for AR-15s. Here you have a Smith wrench for um, uh, 308. Here you have a Yankee Hill wrench that uh, works with their particular hand guards. Um, basically, here's another uh, style of um, armor's wrench that has the spikes for the um, AR-15 platform military spec barrel nut. This is a wrench used just to take off mill spec hand guards. So I thought I would include this on this section since to get to your barrel nut, you have to be able to remove the um, hand guard. And if you're not using an aftermarket one, this is what you use. This basically goes up inside your mag well and goes onto your uh, in front of your D ring so that you can collapse it and pop your upper and lower hand guard off. So basically that's how it works. This goes inside your mag well and this goes in front of your D ring in between the actual hand guard and the front of the um, D ring. And then when you pull on it like this, it collapses the D ring allowing you to remove the top and lower hand guard from the uh, weapons platform. But um, basically, these wrenches right here, these are th what the United States Marine Corps use and the United States Army use for their building wrenches, for their armor's wrenches. And these wrenches run about 90 bucks a pop. This is about a $75, $80 wrench, depending on where you get it. Um, basically, some of these right here are about... 25 to 30 dollars per end most of these proprietary barrel nut wrenches i've picked up for various prices just when i'm doing a customer's rifle back when i built rifles for a living um now i just build my own rifles but the bottom line is i ended up with a bunch of uh proprietary barrel nut wrenches to work with certain hand guards some of these things i'll never use again like the uh one for the daniel defense quad uh, rail that weighs about 80 pounds <laughs> and it's just horrible putting on uh, but there's one there for the SLR uh, Rifle Works handguard barrel nut. That's a that I use quite a bit. I'm a big fan of their uh, handguards and their products in general. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this part. I'm gonna do a few more on each set of parts or each set of tools, I should say, for building the AR-15. So that if you have a question or wondering what tool I should use what I recommend is any of these three tools right here for barrel nuts if you're building a stock rifle you can use any of these three if you're using a um, proprietary aftermarket handguard system 
I would recommend you buying the company's actual proprietary barrel nut wrench end, which will look like one of these, but it'll be like similar to this. Basically, this is for an SLR Rifle Works handguard barrel nut. It's rounded with flat spots and two spots on it. And then this goes into your torque wrench and you just torque it down. And basically it's just a piece of metal that they've cut out. But these are reasonable. Almost every barrel nut manufacturing or handguard manufacturing company will offer either with the actual handguard or at an additional cost and i highly recommend that you go ahead and foot the bill on it it makes things a lot easier plus if you ever need to work on it, it it's right here now if you're working with something like this with flat spots on it basically a crow's foot will work as well so basically i have a whole set of crow's feet as well because a lot of the barrel nut manufacturers will use flat spots and that always works pretty good for you for those if you can find the right size for it because a lot of them are proprietary and there won't be a size that fits them and that's where you have to get the uh, actual adapter from the company or from the one of their distributors but that pretty sums it up for barrel nut wrenches and um, the attachments used to take them on and off um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll answer them for you. Um, other than that, y'all have a nice day.